All right, God, here I am. How do we do this, huh? Do I got a right to do this? Because I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking you for something now. Make Jessica well. Make her well. I'll cut your deal. So you got the results back from Jessica's test. Like I said, it wasn't what I wanted to see. Well, what's wrong with her? Is she going to be all right? Miles, what are you doing here? Something wrong? Uh, I know what happened to Todd Manning. Okay, if you two want to head back to Landview, go right ahead. I'm staying here in Chicago. Do you ever listen to I anybody? I listen to things that are important, okay? <laughs> What do you got there, detective? The trash from the building where Manning's blood was ID'd. Got it just before the truck came. Oh, yeah? Anything we can use? Don't know. I'll get to it later. Later? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, let, let me, let me edit. No, please, you're out of your mind. You got some gloves? I can't believe it. Heather? Honey, are you okay? I'm not sure. You're not sure of what? You're not making any sense, honey. I think Henry just stole the student driver's car. What? When? Just now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go notify the principal, okay? But Mrs. McBain, there's more. What's that? Brittany Star and Cole got in the car, too, and Henry was driving like 90 miles an hour. God. George, you're a little fast. Shut up. Okay, you know what, Cole? Stop talking. This is a very difficult car to handle, and Henry's doing just great. Henry, we should really go back to school, okay? We, you're not supposed to be driving without an instructor. Oh, you're all such hypocrites. You keep telling me to not let Brittany boss me around, but you boss me around just as much as she does. At least she cares about me. She really cares about you when there's a big test coming. Oh, shut up. You're just jealous because he doesn't help you. You know I'm smarter than all of you put together. That's right, Henry. You are. And these guys don't even respect you. Brittany, you're such a bitch. Henry, don't listen to her. Don't talk to her like Henry, that. Henry, ignore them. Listen, listen. Help me out, and then I'll make sure everyone knows what a great guy you are. Are you? In fact, I could probably make you the most popular guy at school. How? Jessica has hepatitis C. Hep C? Are you sure? It's a virus known as HCV and attacks the liver. Um, majority of cases are chronic. Uh, the virus attacks the liver over a number of years. Okay, Michael, what about Jessica's case? Oh, we're actually quite fortunate that Jessica collapsed. I mean, most people that are carriers of HCV have it for up to 30 years without showing any symptoms while serious damage is being done. How would Jessica even catch this? You don't catch it, uh, per se. Um, not like you would a cold. I know how you get it. It just doesn't make any sense. Vicki, um, did Jessica have any blood transfusions prior to 1992? No. And did she ever work in a hospital where she may have been exposed to needles containing the virus? I don't know. I mean, she was a candy striper when she was a teenager. Oh my God. The most common mode of transmission for Hep C is the sharing of needles with someone who has it. Needles? You mean like heroin? These two mean the world to me. Huh? But hey, if Antonio is right, if Antonio is right and I stressed Jessica out so much that it made her sick, if it's my fault, I want her to get well. 
So here's the deal. Make her well. And I'll give her up. For good. No, I hate to run, but duty calls. I know. I think it's going to be another one of those late nights. Do you think that we will ever be able to spend time with one another other than over just a little snack like this? Mm -hmm. I think I'm, I'm definitely free. Three weeks from last January. <laughs> oh, fine, fine. Now, you know what? I had in mind something just a little bit sooner, okay? Think about this. You, me, Matthew, the lake, next weekend. I would love that. But I'm not sure Nora's going to let Matthew go next weekend. It's Mother's Day. Oh, well, that's right. I forgot. Hey. You going to be all right or not? Yeah. Well, I spent every other Mother's Day without Hughes. I know. I know. But this one is. Yeah, it would have been our first one together. I don't think you should be alone. No, I'm not going to be. I'm going to go to California. I'm going to see Hugh's grave. Samantha and Edward asked me to come, and she and I are both his mother, so we're going to remember him together. I think that's a great idea. I think you should go. You know, every single Mother's Day... I said a prayer for my son. I prayed that he was safe. I prayed that that I did the right thing, keeping him away from Spencer. And now Spencer's never going to hurt anyone ever again. Miles, if you feel guilty you know, about the tip you gave Todd to find his son, don't. Unless there's something you're not telling us. No, no, I... I just know that Spencer wanted Todd dead, and now Todd is missing. Well, I'm sure there is another reasonable explanation, or at least I hope so. Why? Why do you care if Todd turns up dead? We were lucky Detective Morris let us do this. Lucky? You didn't have to. You're going oh, no, thank you. I mean, well, we are doing them a, a, a favor, actually, sparing them an intimate encounter with the refuse from a crack den. What exactly are we looking for, John? Could be anything, you know? A, a, a drop of the blood, a, a partial print. It means something that's so little it doesn't even seem like something. Really? Oh, you think that's something? I don't know. No. The label's been ripped off, the way the plastic's been broken, it doesn't seem like it was broken by accident. But it's, it's broken. It's, it's worthless. Look, John, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for coming all this way to help me find Todd. I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, you know, you, you helped me nail Truman. I sort of owe you one. You can't stay here forever. Uh, excuse me, that goes for you, too. Well, I can't go back home without Todd. The kids will get suspicious, especially Star. Sooner or later, you're going to have to tell them something. Well, you know, Star, she'd figure it out on her own anyway. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll find Todd before then. We might. And right now, I just don't want to worry my kids. I mean, ignorance, it's bliss. Right? You almost hit that kid. Henry, are you listening? Oh, my God, you guys shut up and let him concentrate with you two bugging him all the time. No wonder. Brittany, no one invited you either. Well, but, Henry, I wanted to talk to you. I mean, I can understand why you're so angry with me, but I saw what you wrote on your MyFace page. <sighs> you read that? Well, of course I did. I check it every day. I mean, that was so sweet what you said about giving me another chance and forgiving me. That was before I saw the picture of you and Garrett attached to my locker. And before Amber came to me to get the picture you gave to me to give to him. No way, you didn't? I must have looked at that picture a thousand times a day, all because you gave it to me. Well, I'll give you another one. It won't be the same. You can't treat people like this and then expect them to like you. 
Henry, I'm sorry. I guess I just never realized how much you cared about me. I mean, most people are only my friend because I'm pretty or popular. You're kidding me, right? Look, I'm really sorry. I made a huge mistake. It was so stupid. I'll try better if you forgive me. Henry, you're not going to believe her, are you? Henry? Henry! Okay, that was the second stop sign you went through without so much tapping on the brake. I think it's time to pull over, buddy. <laughs> I'm not your buddy. Or your friend. I don't have any friends. Well, Henry, I was hoping I was a little more than a friend. Do you remember those earrings you gave me? <sighs> How could I forget that humiliation? Oh, I was PMSing. They make me act really bitchy. Henry, <laughs> right, don't even make you start! Shut what? up! This is between me and Henry. Not to get us killed. What, are you scared? You know, Henry, I was so, so wrong about those earrings. I've been thinking about how beautiful they were. And, you know, do you still have them? Yeah, they're in my... Henry, don't give them to her! Henry, come on, put both hands on the wheel. Are you serious? Do uh, you really like them? Of course, I wouldn't lie about something like that. That would be so cool. If you give them to me, I'll wear them forever. <laughs> I think it's a great idea that you're going to visit Hugh's grave, but after that, I want your home page. I am home. I told you I'm not going to leave Landview. I'm not talking about Landview. Home. Our home. My place. For good, okay? I want us to make it, honey, okay? Even after everything that has happened? Hey, Spencer's dead. That's all behind us now. <laughs> Be honest, Marty. You never wish Todd dead? No. <sighs> yes, we have our issues, but... Well, issues is too kind a word. <sighs> okay, you're right. You know our story, okay? Todd did the worst thing imaginable to me. I wanted him punished. I wanted to make sure that he never, ever did the same thing to another woman again. But I didn't want him dead. I just don't get this. What don't you get? Well, I mean, Todd Manning did all these terrible things. And you let him off the hook. But Spencer, he does a couple wonderful things, and everybody can't wait for the guy to die. Todd and Spencer are very different cases. But how? Miles Spencer... He had no conscience. That's why I found him unfit to stand trial. Okay, he may have done some wonderful things, but he... He did terrible things, evil things. And he showed no remorse. That's the difference between him and Todd. Todd... He... He genuinely suffers for the mistakes he made. And he has two kids that he loves. And they love and need him. So for their sake, I hope he's alive. Well, if Spencer is the man that everyone thought he was, it might be too late for Todd. Hello? Blair? It's Marcy McBain. Uh, look, I know you're out of town, but um, something's happened. W what is it? It's Star. Well, what's, what's going on? It, 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 is that anything to do with Cole Thornhart? Uh, yeah, I mean, Cole's involved, but it, it's not him. Well, what's going on with Star? <sighs> Henry Mackler was supposed to have a student driving lesson after school, and for some reason he took off in the car without the instructor. Marcy, what does this have to do with my daughter? Three other students got in the car with him, and we don't know where they are. Marcy, are you telling me that Star is in the car with them? I'm afraid so, yes. Oh, God, would you just find my daughter, please, and make sure that she's safe? Yeah. Come on, Star, please, just answer the phone, please, baby. Answer your phone. Mom? Mom, hello, is, is that you? Star, are, are you all right? Mom, I, I can't hear you. Hang it up. Okay, okay, everybody put your cell phones out the window now or I drive this car off the road. No! Star! Hey, hey, are you all right? No, Mom! Mom, we're, we're, we're driving. We're in the middle of now. the country. I said no! Mom? I said no. Everybody give your you phones to Brittany. Now, come on. I can't on. hear you. I love you. Mom! Mom! I love you. Oh, Star! 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 You promise? 
You're not lying about the earrings? Can I show you? Here, let me try them on. Okay. See, Henry, look. Aren't they pretty? I don't know how I didn't notice that before. Who was that on the phone? It was it was my mom, Henry, but she's gonna know that something's up. Look, so I, I told you not to answer, answer his mom. Not about her. Look at the earring. <laughs> They're nice. What is this? That's mine. Give it back. No! Give it back. Yes, what? This is Dexy, isn't it? That's none of your business. Honey, look, see, don't they look pretty on me? They look nice. Wait, what's a Dexy hole? It's a it's it's a pill to make you stay up. Like if if you have to stay up overnight. Henry, how long has it been since you slept? <laughs> You shouldn't be asking me anything still right away. Hey, I'm just trying to help, all right? <laughs> yeah, right. So come on, Henry. Please, just tell me. How long has it been since you had any sleep? It's been a long time. Henry, why would you do something like that to yourself? <laughs> for her. I did everything for you. I couldn't balance my schoolwork and my homework and your homework and sleep at the same time. Something had to give, so I just... <laughs> I stopped sleeping. I've been popping those pills like they're candy. Oh my gosh, you haven't even slept an hour? Because of me? Henry, I'm serious. How long has it been since you had any sleep? Two weeks. Mom. Oh, honey, we're, we're here. We're here. Baby? We didn't, we didn't want to wake you. Okay. Well, what's going on? What's wrong with me? Um, honey, you have, uh, hepatitis C. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, do you know what it is? Yeah, I know what it is. I got an article on it once. But they caught it early. Yes, which means they can treat it. How? Currently, the only method of treatment is drug therapy. And there's no cure? Uh, it's possible that after treatment, your blood will show no sign of the virus. But I can't guarantee it okay, won't come back. how long back. have I had it? We won't know that until we biopsy your liver. I don't understand how she got this. Mom, Mom, it's not important. We just need to get her on the drugs and... You know, actually, it, it might be helpful if you could remember where you might have contracted it. I don't... I... What if I had this before, Brie? Could I pass it on to my daughter? Miles, do you know something else about Todd's disappearance? Do you have something you're not telling me? It's, it's a complicated situation. You're going to have to figure out how to uncomplicate it. Look, I have a meeting with Detective Sanchez about a, a case. I'm doing some profiling for him, so I have to go. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Yeah, go do what you gotta do. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I just had a thought, but uh, <clears throat> when you get back, do you think that we can spend some time together, a long time, really quality time, because now that nobody else knows this, I miss you when you're gone. Well, I miss you too. I'm not going to be gone that long. A day is too long. <laughs> you sound like a teenager in love. Well, yeah, it might be a stretch in my case, but you kind of make me feel like a teenager, you know? <laughs> the hospital. I gotta go. They didn't have pagers when I was a teenager. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hey, yeah, what's up? Commissioner, that's for you. You can What? Where? When? Okay, I'm on my way. Nick, you with me. Let's talk. Police business. Two weeks. Yeah, 
company and you did that all for you, how does that make you feel? Don't blame her. I wanted to do it. I mean, what kind of pill keeps you up for two weeks? Dexamphetamines. And it doesn't just keep you awake. It helps you focus and get better grades. Harry, you saw what Eugene did to me. I mean, I lost my chance at a football scholarship. Everybody started calling me steroid boy. Did he really think he could get it to work for you? Would you stop comparing our lives? They're totally different. My life is a living hell and yours... My life sucks. Are you kidding me? I think that's a little relative, don't you think? If you know, things between Star and I could have been different if I hadn't... If I hadn't uh, messed with that stuff. All right? I lost somebody that I loved. I mean, are you willing to lose everything too? Being smart is all that I have. Okay, girls, girls don't like me. I have to do things the hard way, so I'm willing to make a... <gasps> oh, God, it feels like a knife's going through my chest. Henry? Oh, God, it hurts. Henry, are you okay? What's happening? Call what's Henry, happening? Henry, call her now. Henry! Henry! Could I pass this on to my daughter? If you had the hep C when you were pregnant. Oh my God. We should get retested right away. Well, what about anybody else? Hep C is uh, not passed on through casual contact. I mean, the risk is actually very low even with intimate contact. But if there's anyone who's concerned, they should get tested. I'm not worried about me. Let's just focus on Jess. Okay, well, uh, let's get you prepped for that biopsy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to ask you guys to step out. Sure. Be right out here. Okay. I didn't want to scare my family, but I know a lot about this. I got that. I don't understand this. I mean, how could she be so sick and we didn't even know it? Well, obviously, it was Tess who contracted it, right? Which means she's had it for a while. So we have to get retested right away. And, and no matter how you two feel about it, somebody has to tell Nash. I mean it. If that's what it's going to take, I will give her up. I don't think you, it works that way. You heard that. Yeah, most of it. Yeah, you gonna tell Bo? No. It's between you and, and God. I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose her. Well, I don't really know how God handles these things, but as a doctor, I can tell you that offering to leave Jessica won't make her well. I just love her that much. I understand that. More than you know. I gave up the person I love most in the world in order to save him. But ultimately it wasn't up to me. So now I... I come here to pray for his soul. I try not to think about the life we could have had together if I had been selfish. But I'm so filled with regret. Are you willing to live that way? To make that sacrifice? You hanging in there? I just don't know why, what's happening. Doc goes looking for his son and he's missing and... And now Star. Star's gonna be all right. I just know it. We love that little girl so much, Dorian. So much. Todd loves her like crazy. We can't lose her. We just can't. You're not okay, Henry. She's right. Listen. Look, Cole's right. You're sick. You shouldn't be driving like this. You're supposed to be so damn smart. Don't you know what the side effects of those pills can be? I mean, your heart can explode. Leave me alone, I'm fine. Honey, I think you should listen to them, really. You don't look so good. You're sweating and you're really pale. And what? 
and I repulse you, and and you hate me. No, that's not it. Yes, it is. You think that, that that you can just flirt with me and I'll help pass you in English? No. Forget it. Forget it, okay? This is it. I'm done. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to drive this car to the end of the world. I'm sick and tired of people telling me what to do. You're not acting normal. How would you know? You're out of control. It's the pillows. They make you see things that aren't really there. Oh, like friends. No, like you haven't slept for two weeks and you shouldn't be driving. Look, like... I've been monitoring my intake of the pills. I know the side effects. I'm fine. I can handle this. Henry, I really think you should... I should stop listening to people. No, you should start listening to the right people. <laughs> like who? You? Now, I, may, I may be the only person who understands what you're going through right now. Henry, you think you're maxed out because you're stressed, but you're not. It's the pills. They change you. All right, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Henry, come on, listen to me. Just turn the car around. All right, let's go back to school before we all end up splattered all over the road. Still no word on Star. That could be good news, right, Detective? Mm-hmm. John, I thought... You know, that tape was going to be worthless. I'm going to have the guys in the lab resplace this tape. Maybe we can get something off it. I had a really bad dream right before I woke up and found out time was gone. I just knew something... Something was wrong. It's crazy to be so connected to someone, whether you want to be or not. With some people. That's even you know, with your kids. You spend your whole life trying to protect them. Do whatever you can and then poor star. She's scared, Dorian. I I can feel it. No, I'm not stupid. If I pull over now, they'll catch me, and it's going to go on my permanent record, and I need a perfect record. 5.0, SATs. But when I pull over, it's all ruined. All because of you. No. Henry, listen, it's not over, all right? <laughs> uh, we, we can fix this. I mean, look at me. I got to keep up the football team. Yeah, so I'm playing baseball now. And next year, if I stay clean, they'll let me play football again. The school gave me a second chance. Look, we'll help you, okay, Henry? We'll tell the school that it was our fault. Just please give us another chance. Henry, I'm sorry I made you do this. And I'm sorry you're in pain, but you have to go back. You could die. We could all die. And I never meant to make you stay up all those nights. I think sorry is a little late. Come on, Henry. You don't mean that. Listen, just turn around and go back to the school. I'll be your friend. I'll help you do this. I almost believe you. You can't believe me. I've already been through this. Oh, my God, it hurts. You want me to drive? No! All right. Just, just no. Get us back to the school. I'm going to do this myself. Okay. We're going to do it my way or no way at all. Okay. All right, fine. Just, just get us back to the school. wrong with her. I don't know how she's doing, because nobody will tell me a thing. Well, I'll see what I can find out. Thank you. And, uh, thank you for not judging. Oh, gosh. I'd be the last person to do that. Well, you are also the only one not to. You know, I can tell you one thing. I have learned not to make promises to God that, well, that you can't keep. <laughs> yeah. I could never leave her. I couldn't even stop loving her, no matter how hard I try. I'm going to go call Nash and have him bring the baby up here. Michael, is, is she going to recover from this? 
No one can tell you that, Vicky. I'm sorry. We'll know more after the biopsy. If you would like to see her. Uh, you know what? I'm going to call Clint. Uh, he's on his way back, but I promise to keep him informed. Friends, I, I put you through so much. Hey, all I care about is you getting well. Excuse me, uh, but we need to remove Mrs. Vegas' jewelry before the surgery. <sighs> Did you reach Nash? No, he wasn't home. Breeze with a sitter. Well, we can't wait. Uh, I'll, I'll go get the baby and bring her back here. Hey. How's she doing? She's tired. Nash wasn't home, so Mom's going to go pick up Bree from the sitter and bring her back up here. I guess I should probably check on Jamie. See how she's doing. Okay. I'll stay here with Jess. I mean, to do what you would have had to do to get this, I can't believe it. Not even if you weren't, Jessica. deals with you, especially when I'm lying. You and I both know I can never leave Jessica. I love her too much. Just do me a little favor, huh? Don't punish Jessica for loving me. Need help? Uh, no, I'm on my way out. I have something to confide in you, Miles. It's about a man named Todd Manning. Think we're gonna find this Manning guy? You know the stats. The longer he's missing, the more likely he's dead. I mean, I... Are the police doing anything? Danny, any word yet on that missing student driver car? Okay, look, I'm back in town. Keep me posted. Anything? No, not yet, all right? But oh, listen, listen to me. We dispatched two units to the high school. We got an APB out in the car. The state police have been notified, all right? We're going to find all them. All right, well, Star called, and, you know, the phone call, she... She just sounded like she was in danger. I know that she is. And John, what's going on? I heard there's a, a missing driver's ed car, and I can't get in touch with Cole. Is there something going on at the high school? No, there's something going on at the high school, you bitch. Your son has gotten my daughter into danger for the last time, you hear me? Oh and if something's happened to her, if, if, if a hair on her head has been touched... Cole, John, what's happening? Yeah. Lieutenant, we've got reports of a car uh, driving erratically up in the Heights. Traffic camera clocked in at 80. Okay. Kill you. I swear to God, if she's hurt, I will kill the both of you. Hey, 
Sunday, why don't you let me stay? No. I said no. I should have said no to you a long time ago. Instead of being treated like a puppy by you, doing whatever you told me to do, following you all over the place. And now, my chest feels like it's about to explode. My arm is on fire, and for what? So you can continue to be some stupid, selfish bitch and get straight A's. Honey, I'm sorry. Listen, if you say sorry one more time, I'm going to okay, drive this look, to a train. Brittany's not going to say anything, and from now on, is she Brittany? Mm. Henry, look, there's the school. All right, just pull in the parking lot. We'll switch places before anybody sees us. What are those police cars doing there? They're there for me, aren't they? No, I don't think so, Henry. Henry, let me take the wheel, all right? I'll say I stole the car and took it for a joyride. Trust me, they'll expect that out of me. Nobody, nobody will know. You would do that? Yeah, I told you I'm here for you. I'll help you through this. Yeah, and, and I'm friends with Commissioner Buchanan. I can talk to him. You won't be in any trouble at all. No. No. You know that the police are here. Everybody knows. My plan, everything that I dreamt of. My entire future has gone down the toilet. And all because of you. Honey, I told you I'm sorry. I told you not to say that anymore. You... Me? You... Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. What do you say, Tate? Come on out and join us. Hep C can be passed from a pregnant mother to her baby. Bree. How am I going to live with myself if I gave this to her? Watch weekdays on ABC. Weeknights on SoapNet.